Hi everyone and welcome back to Woodland Frenchies. Uh, today's video we're going to kind of specifically do on Raven here and it's going to be about what to expect with the first <laughs> Stella's Trend Eater Treats. What to expect for the first week of owning a French Bulldog puppy. What, you know, what are the, the positives, the negatives, and what am I going to have to expect when adopting a brand new French Bulldog for that first week. So we're going to kind of just go over my experiences. Obviously I have Stella here and we, we raised other French Bulldogs but um, specifically Stella and Raven are my personal ones and I just want to kind of help a new, a new owner or somebody that's looking to adopt a French Bulldog as Stella is so excited about these treats. Yeah, you're a good girl. And just give them some insight to training, insight to behavior, um, time management, on um, what time is going to be needed for the puppy, all that good stuff. And we're just going to kind of go over it all for you guys today. And it's been a week now since I've had previously known Candy, now Raven. And, and now she is just doing so well. She's super cute, she's super small, and will be probably about Stella's size on the smaller end. No Stella. We'll get you some treats if you behave in the video. Yeah, you gotta be a good sister too. Yeah. But, and also, if you guys have a French Bulldog already or another dog, what to expect? Is it How does that work out as far as that relationship goes? But first off, um, appreciate you guys being a part of our community and just kind of coming up with our journey as we talk about French Bulldogs and any history information and just any litter updates. You guys seem to really enjoy that stuff. So if you haven't already subscribed, um, please, please, please do so. It means a lot to us and we are definitely doing this for you guys, people that have a passion for French Bulldogs such as us, as you can see here. All right, so week one and the first day basically we're gonna start off with just kinda, I'm just gonna kinda go through the journey and just kinda explain how it went. So first day, you know, we obviously take uh, Raven home and that first night obviously is so important as far as bonding and getting to know your puppy and introducing them, the, them to their new surroundings. So what we did was basically, I kept Stella away that first night. I didn't want to have Stella, cause she's pretty energetic. I didn't want to have her necessarily, or the first hour or two I kept her away. Anyway. I didn't want her to just kind of go crazy and this little puppy is gonna just basically see Stella and think everything's nuts. So we kept Stella out the first couple hours. We brought her home and introduced her to you know our living area, um, her crate, all the were her dish bowls and everything. And we just made sure first, number one, that she ate and drank water. And that's always the first thing you guys need to do, whether you get your puppy delivered, bring the puppy home, is introduce them to the surroundings and make sure that they're comfortable and then they're ready to drink water and eat food. Um, if, if your puppy is not doing that, you definitely need to give the breeder a call because that just means that they were stressed out or that something is not right because, I mean, it sounds simple, but that is, we all need to eat and drink. And if we're not, then we're not gonna survive. So that's number one um, for sure. And, and you want, again, a, a calm environment, something that they're, the puppy's gonna feel safe and just be comfortable in. And, and that's number two. Um, third is, you know, the puppy was bathed, but I always recommend to give the puppy a bath um, a nice warm bath when you get the puppy, whether it was through transportation or um, it's just something that a, a good bonding thing first of all and um, this is just really good to do with a puppy. So give a bath the first night and then and then right after that, I mean the first thing I always work on if you need to have your name ready so always do um, whenever talking to her you are always you know, Petting her and saying, such a good girl, Raven. Just always letting her know, Raven. Yeah, good girl, Raven. Good girl, Raven. Because um, the name is going to be the first, the most important thing. So that first couple hours, just working on, you know, clapping my hands, getting down, and having her come to me um, with her name so she gets used to her name so that if, if she needs to be alert, she needs to know if, I'm, if we're telling her something, she needs to get the name down. Now, this video is not going to be all about training. But um, we're gonna have little tips like this to help you guys when you first get your puppy. Um, so that's what we did the first couple hours. She made sure to eat, get introduced to the area, 
and then we were ready to introduce Stella uh, to her and, <laughs> and Stella the first night she was she was on pins and needles for sure but she you know she's good now she's definitely got to, to know Raven and I mean she was friends and friendly the whole time but you could tell her stress was probably more stressful than this puppy's stress the first night especially sleeping um, or going to bed because she's just wondering where that little creature is at. So um, it took a couple of nights for Stella to get used to um, to Raven as far as just her space and everything. It's it's kind of funny. We'll get more into that. But um, but yeah, we put her in basically when I was ready for bed that night. We we put her in the crate that first night. Now we'll get to the second night how where she's sleeping at now. But we put her in the crate that first night. And um, she woke up, I th she slept through it. Um, I think she woke up maybe like five in the morning that first night, so she did really well. And she didn't cry the first night either. So that was, that was great. But so basically that first day and every hour, we basically kept taking her outside to go potty and, and helping with that. So it's for a little puppy, you're gonna have to take it out about every hour whenever you see it sniffing. That's just gonna be consistent throughout this whole first week. For sure, um, uh, but you are gonna have some messes and so forth. The second day, we haven't basically had her be by herself at all. She's been with us consistently. We haven't left her left her alone. And I guess my recommendation is definitely try to get your puppy at a time where you know you're gonna be able to um, have her and be with her, especially the first two to three days. I would say once you get to day three or four. Um, you know, you could probably leave her by herself for an hour or two and and she'll be fine, he or she will be fine. But you still definitely need to make sure that you will have good available time for the puppy. It's important. Um, but then, yeah, getting into day two and three, the biggest thing I think for us with Raven is continuing to help her learn her name um, so that she could be directed to know where to go, potty, which door. Um, yes getting treats, all that good stuff, rewarding her, telling her she does it, doing a good job, um, was super important. And just watching and making sure she ate. Because at first when she first ate, she kind of nibbles. Now she's to the point where she is able to eat um, a full meal at one time, one sitting, and everything like that. So that was things we had to work on for sure. Um, she has been drinking water and everything. But with Stella though, Stella, the third day, calmed down quite a bit. And by the second night, or the third night, she did sleep with us in our bed. And Stella sleeps with us in our bed as well. So she, the, first, the first night, Stella was like, once this one started cuddling or getting even close to Stella, she would kind of growl or just like, get out of my space. Uh, but now they're definitely, um, Stella's really, really fine with, with her and just being comfortable with her and not as uptight. So that's good. But yeah, we're constantly working on potty training. Well, we're constantly, again, re telling her her name. Um, we're constantly, we haven't worked on any tricks or anything. The biggest thing right now is just the potty training and um, getting her attention, giving her gratif grat gratifying her when she does good things. And just, uh, just overall, just being a happy, healthy puppy. I would say this next week, um, we might start on some types of, um, you know, maybe start with maybe, you know, touch of tricks and stuff like that. But um, sh this one, she is pretty little. She's she's just not quite there yet as far as um, the drive yet to do stuff like that yet, in my opinion. She doesn't quite have the energy. Um, Stella does, but um, she is definitely doing really good. Uh, and you should, hopefully we will be able to see some videos of her playing with Stella. They get along really good and it's been been awesome super excited to have her part of the family and i hope you guys are excited as well so um, definitely for this video comment below what you guys think of raven and hopefully this video helped you guys with at least the first day first couple first week or so as far as what to expect with the puppy um the potty training is always going to be the biggest thing i feel with everybody just because it's tough um, especially for a smaller puppy so the question for you is should you get a trainer or not but um, yeah as far as chewing on things she's not chewing on things we made sure to get her chew toys and we have 
taught her the word no. She knows what no means. So uh, that's pretty big. And if you guys have any other questions, feel free to let us know. If not, we will see you in our next video. Thanks and have another great day.